Today we're gonna test unbelievable YouTube short Minecraft hacks to see if they actually work. The instant Minecraft farm. I like that there's zero audio in this video. It's just literally silent and efficient. It's like, yo, you wanna make a farm? This is how you do it. No, there's no extra. It looks like it works pretty well. This could be something like maybe a little more efficient than like your normal farm you get. All right, so this one's pretty simple. It looks like it's literally just like dispensers in a circle like this and then some redstone. Just about done here. So the basic build's pretty easy. Bone meal goes on each side. I don't know what goes in the back dispenser though. Is that like seeds maybe? So redstone like this up top. I don't really know what that does. I, I don't know where the seeds go, bro. Excuse me, you didn't show that part. I'm, I'm guessing they go into this. I don't know. Can you, maybe I'm gonna rewatch and see. Oh. So he actually doesn't even put seeds inside of it. This is where it gets really weird, okay? So actually what he does is he pulls this lever and then he places seeds when it pops out. We'll start with just like one seed. So he pulls the lever and then plants them. Oh, there we go. And then he sits here and plants them like this and it literally just flows seeds like crazy. Now, I don't know if we're getting them right now, but this is actually working pretty well. Oh, we are. Look, look at this. This is actually great. This is crazy. Okay, okay, this one has got me a little bit excited. I won't lie to you, this one's speaking my language. So they put down a block of glass, pushed it into a wall, and then pushed a chest into it, and you can put anything inside a glass. That seems kind of exciting. We could do some damage with this one. So I don't know why we got the darkest world border on Earth. I'm not sure why this is all black. It's very strange looking, but we can try it anyway. All right, so our glass goes right here next to the wall. Our piston goes right here next to the glass. Wait, so it seems like all he does is place it literally inside of it. He doesn't even use it. This is weird. Nope. Obviously, what? What? Oh! So he actually puts a redstone block down, pushes it into the glass, and this actually... Well, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, there we go. That's what's supposed to happen. It goes through it, and then you can take your chest, and in our case, we've got a very fancy-looking chest. Oh, it works! Look at that! You can put a block inside of a block! This is incredible! Ladies and gentlemen, we have discovered something unreal! Can mobs escape it? I got, like... You can't even... You can't even do it. I've never seen a build like this before, so I don't know what it is. Redstone, observers, hop... So it's definitely like not the prettiest build like now that it's here it doesn't look too bad though you got your bridge and now supposedly if we press our button this will create water underneath us which we can fly out of i don't know this seems kind of weird we'll give it a shot okay that looks good now we can what? oh it's gone oh here we go oh it does make you spiral out of control i'm gonna die forgot the elytra but that thing sends you up i mean look at the distance you get from that like in a very short amount of time you can get very oh, i almost died again now here's a supposed glitch with fortune five that allows you to do some crazy things in game. He puts in a fortune three into one of these and a fortune two and it comes out and gives you fortune five. Now that seems suspicious. He keeps going though. Is that actually like, I don't know if that even works itself. Like that there seems like it could work. So we got five grindstones here and some anvils in between, which are not there yet. So if you put this in, it just gives you a book, right? So, and the way that he did it, he put two in and then combined them into a super book. So already it's not working. Maybe a three and a two. So a lot of this is not really working at the moment. So yeah, we, we pull this one back pretty quick, guys. And we can go through all of these and do all the different combinations. Three plus one is four or one plus three is four. And it's not giving us anything. It's not working at all. So this seems like a total scam. Maybe a three and a two here. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Now this gives you a three and a two gives you a three. No, that doesn't actually make any sense. What about a three and a five? What? What's the purpose of this? Someone explain. It's not getting stronger. Why does this exist? Y'all out here telling me daylight sensors are a source of fuel in Minecraft. We can cook with the sun, but not actually the sun. I mean, it's kind of like cooking with the sun, right? So I don't know. I mean, is that a thing you can do? Because it feels super useless. Hey, yo, what happened to this village? Poor people, they all died. So not only are we going to test if the daylight sensors work, but we're also going to test all of these other mysterious items that supposedly also can be smelted. Hey, there's too many animals on this island. Y'all need to chill. All right, all right. I can't do that anymore. Y'all too loud. This is my show. I need you to leave. Silence. All right, number one, the turtle egg. Does it actually smell into baby turtles? The answer is no, you cannot smell a baby turtle egg into baby turtle food, I'm sorry. Number two, netherrack, can you smell this? The answer is yes. Make sure you guys wait till the end of this to see what it is. Now I heard soul torches can give you blue fire. Obviously that one's not true. How about a sapling? Huh. You know what? I'm actually shocked by this. You really would think a sapling would be able to smell. It doesn't even make sense. Now for the daylight sensor and, hold up. Wait a minute, is it live? Do I have to use regular cool? Yo, it's actually like a lie. I thought it would work. I, I don't know. Huh. So you can't smell the daylight sensor, but you can smell another rack. What does that give you? Another brick. Huh. Well, there you guys go. Guys, I was wrong. So it's actually used as fuel. It's not used to be smelted. I just did the whole thing backwards. So the daylight detector is the actual fuel itself that smelts. So it does work. And it's really weird and kind of expensive and really doesn't seem to be worth the investment to make it. But if you have a stack of these, you're probably a maniac. So I don't know why you'd be doing it anyway. Now, this is on my own shorts channel. I'm going to test it out. If you have cats around you, they're not going to dive bomb you. They just... So, apparently, phantoms are afraid of cats. Now, that seems really sus. Oh, 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 look. It's actually working. Look at that. So, they come to dive bomb you, and they can't get down because the cats freak them out. If you didn't know that, subscribe to my channel and my shorts channel right now. Do both.
So it looks like it's some kind of a secret base. So that's interesting. It seems like a way to, I mean, I don't know how you're going to get below bedrock. You got to use some kind of other abusive glitch to actually get to that point. All right. So let's say you find out how to break bedrock. There's a couple glitches. I have them on my channel. They show how to do it. So let's say you get down here. How could you actually build something? This guy is saying use a fence post, a chicken and a lead. Very strange. All right. So we got our chicken now lead it on here. So like, you know, at the beginning, it seems to work so far, but if we pull a boat down on that, is it going to work? And the amount of time it's going to take to clear this out is pretty high. I mean, that's a lot of bedrock. You're going to have to wait break through. So like you just straight up drove it on the chicken. I just don't know if that's going to work. All right. Here we go. Okay, well, that didn't work. Uh, that's not good. I don't know. He's got a block there. Let's try this. Oh, 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 it does work. It does work. It does work. Oh, no, the chicken fell off. Even if it does work, it's going to be so hard to do right that, like, I don't know if it's worth it. Guys, if you're as cool as this cow, don't forget to drop a like on this video. If we get 30,000 likes in the first day, you're going to turn into a cool cow. Now, apparently there's a new king of speed in Minecraft and it's using ice and lava to move quickly. You just stack ice and lava back to back and it makes you move like infinitely faster than just ice. Thing is, I feel like that would melt the ice, wouldn't it? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Here is our giant trail of blue ice. Now what we're going to do is create one of each type of ice and we're going to actually find out if blue ice or any other type of ice works better with lava. So the regular ice is actually melting once we extend it out. So you're not going to want to use regular ice. We do have packed and blue ice to test. Coming up first, we're going to do blue ice. So I'm going to put a timer down in three two, one, go. And boom. All right. So that's the time on blue ice. Obviously that thing was flying. The speed was insane. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to feel the difference on packed ice, but we'll try it anyway, just to see if it's any different. It definitely feels like boom. To me, it feels very similar. Now let's go without the lava and see if the lava really truly makes any sort of difference. So my guess is no difference. Time. Okay, and that was without the timer. So here's all three scores here. Obviously, regular ice isn't working at all. Here's the results. Tell me what they are in the comments. Thank you. So this looks like Bedrock Edition, a way to duplicate Wither Roses. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is build this and put your Wither Rose down. So that's a pretty simple build. Then you put snow on it. Okay, so the fact that that works is a good sign. A button goes behind it, which makes the snow vanish. Then we break the dirt. Well, this is good. And then it says place the top snow behind and it'll duplicate the flower. So we'll take it out to make sure we can see and top snow goes behind. So I only got one. Let's try the build again, though. Obviously, that didn't work for me. Snow button. Break this. Oh, no, it did work. It did work. It's just in creative mode. It doesn't show you. I have two. Now I have four. So snow button break snow and then i should be up to six you heard two of them pop in so this actually is a working dupe for wither roses 100 works on bedrock oh you can't even place the snow on java it doesn't work on java bedrock only but still pretty useful if you play bedrock so apparently like polar bear taming is like super broken easy and like you know really all you have to do is one thing according to this guy and that is name it shout out to all my josh is watching today this one's for you so we've got our josh name tag here's our polar bear and we'll go in survival mode and punch it just to like really see is this bad boy gonna fight back now we name it <laughs> it works. He wants to attack us, but he can't. We've named him. We beat the system. Wow. Or is, am I just invincible? All right, maybe we didn't beat the system. Look, I'm not really sure here. Uh, it, it's attacking us and somehow doing no damage, and I really can't explain to you why that is. Que it's, it's questionable. Hey, one way or another, guys, it might still attack you, but at least you can name tag it and it won't despawn. So this guy is saying how to protect your chest. So he's putting them in like a little box, putting water on it, and that stops them from actually exploding. Huh. All right, so let's say you're inside your base. looks a little bit like this, and you place your chest down. How would this actually look? Put it in the corner. It's like a nice little cooler there. Got to get them summer vibes. Just like this. We need to do some experiments here. Like, can I make it look a little cleaner? Like, like that looks a lot cleaner to me, and the fact that this is a cooler skin looks even better, which is on our server right now. So now if we put a little TNT down, does the trap door work? Because, like, that looks good. Let's find out. Oh, it does work, even with the trap doors. This looks so much better than the original, I think. Now, here's a secret way to get cursed text in Minecraft. And that does look pretty cursed, doesn't it? How do we do this? <laughs> what the heck? My boy <laughs> squealed like a seagull there at the end. So most of you guys know if you do that, Ann K, you're going to get the magic text, which is pretty cool. But did you know that you could do so much more that you never actually see? And it involves a keyboard and using the alt key. You can use this chart right here called the alt code chart. And every single one of these symbols can actually be used to rename your items in Minecraft. So if I put the daylight detectors in and use the alt code, we can actually create a smiley face and literally name the item smiley face. Look at that. It's <laughs> kind of funny. But there's so many weird things you can do, including every single symbol that I'm typing right here. I think there's even a heart somewhere. Where is the heart? That's alt three. Look at that. You could literally name it heart. Alt 23 gives you a literal arrow, which means if you were to take this item and then put it inside of an item frame, it would actually point in the direction that you want it to point in. And now when you go to look at the item, it actually points you in the direction. Yo, that's actually sick. That's pretty cool. I think it deserves a subscribe. Go ahead. Drop one. 
Now, guys, there's also a rumor out there that there's some kind of super rare lava TNT combo. Now, this sounds like probably the fakest thing ever. According to this video, all you have to do is place four TNT in a shape with one at the top, bottom, left, and right, and then it spawns TNT lava. So we're gonna try it right now and see what happens. One, two, three, and the last one goes here and it should spawn TNT lava. Here we go. What? Dude, that's one of the craziest things ever. Are you kidding me? TNT lava is actually in the game? I wish it was, guys. We custom coded and modeled it and added it. If you guys wanna see some more crazy ideas, drop your favorites down below. Peace.